right now? So we're currently in downtown Boston on the SMFA Fenway campus, which is home to the School of the Museum of Fine Arts at Tufts University. SMFA offers its students an interdisciplinary art curriculum where each student constructs an individualized course of study during their time at the university. What are we doing at SMFA today? So we're gonna watch X, a senior in our BFA program, get some painting done while we answer some commonly asked questions about SMFA. Okay, that sounds fun. Mm -hmm. supplies. So certain supplies are provided free of charge in our studio spaces and others can be purchased directly from the school's art store at a discounted price. If we want to work more sustainably, we can pick up supplies from the cart util. What's the cart util? The cart util is a collection of used or donated materials which are available for students to use at no cost. For this painting, X picked up gesso and some screen printing ink. Where do students keep all of our stuff? So students can apply for a locker. They're very spacious and can fit most of our supplies. Then we don't have to carry heavy supplies back and forth from the residence halls and campuses. When do we get most of our work done? Anytime! We actually have 24-hour studio access here at SMFA. What? 24-hour studio access? Yeah, with the exception of high hazard studio areas. Once we've taken the proper safety training, we have 24-hour access to a studio space. So, we can work for a really, really long time if we want. We can also apply to have an individual studio space each year where we can store all of our supplies and curate a personalized work environment. How many students are usually using the studios? So there are normally 13 to 15 students in every class, but the amount of people working in each space outside of class changes between studios. Here in the painting studios, there's usually anywhere from 4 to 10 people working on homework or personal projects in between and after classes. This is really great because it creates a dynamic and collaborative environment to work in. What's that sound? Oh, that's our school's ventilation system. It runs through almost every studio space in the school and completely refreshes the air we use every four minutes so that we can stay safe and healthy while making artwork. There's a team of studio managers here every day to help us navigate the studios and tools available and how to do so safely. So, X, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a multimedia artist, originally from Saratoga Springs and living in Boston with a cat and four to five to six roommates that make my artist practice possible. My main focuses are painting, performance, and printmaking. Can you tell us a little bit more about your work? My work questions why we collectively turn to fantasy as a form of escapism and alternative futures. What are we seeking in these worlds? What is missing in ours? 
Fantasy extends beyond magic and new worlds. It is storytelling, social media, movies, and celebrity gossip. It is a double-edged sword. The first edge is the ability to placate, to keep you just content enough not to change. And the other edge has the ability to entertain ideas that seem implausible in our inherited framework of the world. For my work, the process is inseparable from the outcome. It is a designated space where I can work through what it means to be trans, queer, alienated under capitalism, and irrevocably linked to those around me. I try to use color, symbols, text, and familiar imagery in the hopes of creating a map of my analysis for those to follow and place themselves within. The need for storytelling, mythology, and fantasy is as old as the need for food and water. How does it show itself today? What do we do with our art after we finished? So we can either store large scale work in various classroom spaces or apply to have it exhibited throughout the school or even sell our work through a variety of school organized art sales. It's also pretty common for students to buy, sell, and trade work with one another. How can we learn more about the studio spaces? So SMFA offers tours both virtually and in person, which you can sign up for by following this link. All right, thanks for joining us in the painting studio today. Bye. <laughs>